7.03, as Aisha just said, and later today, Virginia Beach City Council members will get an update on the multi-million dollar Atlantic Park project. The project would bring a new entertainment district to the oceanfront, plus a first-of-its-kind surf park, and it's actually the city's largest public-private partnership. But there has been a disagreement on at least one decision between the developer and the city. 10 on your side's Camaria Bray is live in Atlantic Park with more. So Camaria, what issue are they trying to resolve? Katie and Asia, as of March, there was a disagreement on who should pay for a water filtration system involving that surf park that will be right behind me. Now, take a look at the vision behind this um, that the developers gave us. Now, but here is where the issue comes in. As of March, groundwater for the surf lagoon wasn't able to be removed for the prior six months. This was after high levels of naturally occurring iron was discovered being pumped into the nearby Lake Holly. That made the lake's color brown and that goes against the state water control law. In March, the developer said new equipment was on the way to filter the groundwater. However, the developer believed the city should pay for it since it owns the land. The city said the developer knew years ago about the iron on the soil and said they should pay for it since the permit is in their name. So as for Mar uh, as of March, rather, the developer agreed to front the costs. But if that changes, well, we'll find out or we're looking to find out at that city council meeting at 2 o'clock this afternoon. I'm Kamaria Bray in Virginia Beach, turning your side.